Okay. As you can see, it's boiling. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just taste it. Oh, no. I'm gonna stir it. Oh, it's about and to. And how I taste it with my clean hands. My hands are clean. I just take a little and I just dab it onto the palm of my hand. And oh. then taste. Oh. No, it's a little hot. Oh, it's a little too sweet for me on the sweet side. So what I'm gonna do before I add my rice, I'm gonna take um three twists of salt. One. It's seasoned salt. Make it four. But that's to my taste. So make sure you taste it. Okay, I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna take my time. And then I'm gonna bring the temperature from eight back down to five. And then I'm gonna add my rice. The rice that I use is Manhattan long grain rice. Yes. This is the only rice I know how to use. Um, I know how to cook like poor boiled rice, but this is like my white rice to go to. Manhattan is the rice my mom used. And, and as far as measurements, I don't know how to measure it out. I just pour it into my pot until I see a little hill or mountain of rice start to form. So, mm -hmm. Jasmine, just point it right there. Sure. <laughs> and I'm gonna pour in my rice. And I'm gonna pour, 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 pour. Yeah. Until she see a little mountain. Oh, there's my mountain. How's that look like a mountain? It's a little mountain, like a little slope. Okay. And then I'm gonna stir. Oh, it's so yummy. Yes, it is. Get it all told. Oh. Drinking. And if you, how to verify if you did it right, when you scoop it up, you should see like a little bit of peas in between your rice. If you see more peas than your rice, you need more rice. Sure. Okay, let me get the rice off of there. Get the rice off my spoon. Can you eat the rice? And I do it that way with the just eyeballing it because I'd rather have too much rice than too much water and then my rice be like squishy Can you hold or gummy. It? Squishy and gummy makes no sense. And I'm just gonna let it boil until like my pot is almost dried out. So just let it boil and I'll come back and show you what it looks like before I do my next steps. Okay, so as it was boiling, I stirred it probably every five minutes. And when you stir, scrape the bottom because you want to make sure it's not sticking. Yeah. Sticky. <laughs> or even is sticky. Yeah, you don't want it to stick to the bottom. Okay. So, it's not sticking to the bottom. My rice is halfway done. Halfway. I like my pigeon piece and rice to be dry. So, what I'm going to do is... Pour the... I'm going to give it about another 30 seconds. While that does that, I will turn it down to low and then get some aluminum foil to cover my pot. Leave it open. Okay. She got her little foil. Yes, I do. It was like three years old. So, when you say foil, it kind of sounds like you're saying oil. No, aluminum foil. Okay. Yeah. That's where I need it to be. And I'm going to cover the rice. So it. I don't know why, but. I'm going to cover the rice so that way it sweats. 
because the sweat process is what's gonna finalize the cooking. I can still smell the um, coconut. Let me get my top. Hold on. Look at for you. Look, it feels. It feels okay, but it's kind of hot. Yeah. So the sweat will finalize the cooking. And probably like halfway, probably like in another hour, no, 15 minutes, I'll come back and stir it again. So if there's any liquid at the top, it'll dry it out. So I'm going to leave this right here and start working on my other parts of my meal while it sweats and finish cooking. Yay. And then keep it on low. Hot. Okay, so when it's like this and you don't see no more bubbles, that means that it's dry at the bottom and all the water is sitting at the top. So I'm going to stir and scrape from the bottom. Oh, wow. Cool. You see that? Well, guys, I did not think that was going to turn out like that. Yeah, that's how you want it to turn out. Oh, this is the best cooking. So, this is. I'm just going to stir from the bottom. Stir, stir, stir. Make sure I'm getting it all from the bottom. Yep, all from the bottom. I didn't even get a chance to put my chicken on. I know. Yeah, but this is how easy it is. So it makes them do it faster. But the aluminum foil helps it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it on low while I do my chicken. And me, I like my rice to be tender. Oh, what's this? So I am going to it's put so the cool. aluminum foil that's on top and while I finish up my meal it'll be cooking on low mm. it close tight yeah and then we're gonna move on to the next one no then I'm gonna finish my chicken all right, this. so let me finish my chicken. My chicken in the oven. So now I'm just going to check on my rice. It should be good to go. Mm -hmm. And Whoa, it, look. it's done. So mm -hmm. to keep it hot while I finish my meal, I'll just put it on low. Yeah, keep it hot. When you or I can turn it off. And that's it. That's pigeon peas and rice. That's it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and give us a huge thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys give us a huge thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Current location. Give us a huge thumbs up. Bye, guys.